is an example of a quadratic function. There is x, which is right there, which equals 0, 1, 2, and 3. That is the input. y equals x2 is what y would equal. So, and that is the output. So, 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. And 3 squared is 9. And the differences of these bottom ones, the first difference is 1, and then 3, and then 5. Since 0 plus 1 is 1. And 4 minus 3 is 1. What in this case plus 3. And 4 plus 5 is 9. And then the differences of all those, the difference between 1 and 1 and 3 is 2. And the difference between 3 and 5 is also 2. There's a second difference, which is the same, making this a quadratic function. Note the constant changes in the values of the second difference and as well as the first difference as well. This is very important. The main function for identifying quadratic functions is y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. That is the main function that is used in identifying the quadratic functions. And in that function, a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to zero. The function y equals x squared can be written as y equals one x squared plus zero x plus zero, where a equals one, b equals zero, and c equals zero. Is this example a quadratic function or not? Explain why and If you said that this function was not a quadratic function, then you are correct because the value of a in this equation is zero and it should equal one. What about this one? Is this a quadratic function? If you said that it is, then you are correct. Because it can be written in the form y equals a squared plus bx plus c. And in this case, a equals negative 3, b equals 0, and c equals negative 4, making this a quadratic function. That's identifying quadratic functions in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. It is. Trust me. I know these things.